What's up, my dudes? Jesus Valk here, about to bless you with a little bit of forbidden knowledge with a ramen. So today we're going to be talking about the Red Horn Stone Thresher. I had to look down at the name because I forget, I forget about it, and why it's going to be good for every Claymore user and not just Arataki Ito. This is a weapon that if you are not free to play, you really want to look out for because it's going to be really, really damn good. If you are free to play, my advice as always is do not summon on the weapon banner. I don't care if th this weapon could literally be Thanos' glove and just one shot everything you snap in. Oh my god, it's the best weapon in the game bar none. I would still recommend free to play just save their primos for characters because that is an entire playstyle versus a weapon that just makes you do more ouchies and a game that's so easy I'm literally playing without artifacts and really dumb builds like right now you see on the screen pure ER Eula with Sack Greatsword. <laughs> this game's easy. So uh, I don't recommend summoning for weapons if you're free to play. But if you're like me and you're a filthy whale, then guess what? This weapon is going to be very cracked for you. So why is this weapon so good? Very simple, it's the exact same as Jade Cutter except it's the opposite, and the Claymores uh, have no 5 star crit rate crit damage weapon. So let's get into the stats, let's tell me, let me tell you what it does. At level 90 it is 542 base attack, it's really low but for a good reason, and it is 88.2% crit damage. I made a video about this weapon a while ago and how many doors it opens. It opens for me, for example, to actually hit a 300 crit damage Eula build if I really feel like it. It's really, really good. It is a really good copium weapon in the exact same way Jade Cutter is a really good copium weapon. Uh, Jade Cutter has a bit of a better passive due to the HP to attack conversion, with this just increasing defense by 20%. Normal charge attack damage is increased by 40% defense. That normal charge attack damage increase is actually translated into not that much damage if the way if the way I am reading it adds up and stays that way. Uh, it's not really that much damage, so the main thing is the defense increase. It's tailor-made for Arataki Ito, but you're really going to throw this on anybody as a copium weapon because it's going to be an entire build's worth of crit damage. For example, if you have the base crit damage, which is 50, plus this, you're at 138, plus ascendancy stat, which is like another, like I think like 40 almost, so plus a crit damage circlet, you're already over 200 crit damage. That's how fast it adds up. <coughs> That's how good it is. It's good in the exact same vein that Jade Cutter's really cracked weapon. So I wanted to make a video dedicated to this amazing weapon and hopefully some of you guys that are not free to play check it out because it is definitely going to push a lot of your builds if you are having really bad artifact luck uh, because you know money buys you more tries at the slot machine but it doesn't guarantee you a W so you might not always have the best artifacts even as a whale and if you have not the best artifact luck and you need the, you want well you don't need but you want a good and more balanced build then I highly recommend checking out this weapon anyways that's basically the video let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the red horn stone thresher I was saying that right yeah I gotta keep looking down at the name it's so long uh, let me know what you guys are thinking of the RS um, other than that thank you guys for watching as always this has been Jesus Valk until the next time peace